Hey guys, uh, just wanted to pop on here real quick. I got a uh, something that uh, another question I've been getting pretty pretty frequently, and that is um, tr how to control your expenses. So I've got a couple of ways that I look at this, um, and this is this is kind of the secret sauce here. But uh, happy to help any way I can. So how do you control your expenses uh, without impacting your business, without having a negative impact on your business? So one of the things that you need to do course is if you're if you're in a situation where you need to reduce your expenses is um, either you're trying to run your uh, business more optimally more efficiently or it could be that you know revenues down and you're so you're trying to cut expenses to you know keep your bottom line and uh, bottom line in order so the last thing you want to do in that situation is decrease sales right so here's a couple of, and so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna talk about how to not have the expense reductions affect your sales, your revenue, and how how not affecting and not have a negative impact on your current customers. So, um, I look at it as I look at literally the expense side of the P and L, and I go down every line by line and say, uh, I ask three questions: Does it lead directly to sales? Does it lead indirectly to sales? Or does it have no impact on sales? And then I make reductions accordingly. So obviously the ones that have a direct impact on sales, we don't touch those um, because we don't want to impact that. The ones that are indirect, you can probably afford to cut those back somewhat, uh, but you don't want to make uh, big, huge reductions there. The where where, you, where the meat is, the where the meat and potatoes are, is uh, are the lines that have no impact on sales. Those are the ones you really want to go after and attack. Um, so that's how you don't impact your current sales negatively by cutting your expenses. Now, how do you make sure you don't have a retention issue with your current customers? So you go through the same exact thing. You go down line by line and you say, does this lead or impact customer service at all? Directly, indirectly, or not at all? And you go through the same exercise. So the ones, of course, that don't impact um, customer service at all, you really want to hit those hard. What I like to do is actually take a two-pronged approach and, and literally make two columns next to each of those expense lines and score them based on both of those. And so I look at the combination of the two, whether it be sales or customer service, because again, the last thing you wanna do is impact current customers or the pipeline of customers you have coming in. Another real quick idea, and I'll jump off here and get out and enjoy this beautiful day, but is um, we did this with one of my businesses that uh, is has a seasonal business. So he was spending his, his marketing spend um, let's just say he was spending $3,000 a month on marketing, make it easy. He was spending $3,000 every single month. So $36,000 over the year. What we did was we did what I call throttling. I don't know if that's really a original Mr. Biz term or not, but we throttled his marketing expense. So during the busy season, he has more business than he can, he can handle. And as a matter of fact, what ends up happening is people call him and he says, Hey, you know, we're three weeks out before we can get to you. And so they hang up the phone and call a competitor. So at that point, your marketing is actually, in effect, helping your, your competitors. So we don't want that. So we literally, during his the busiest part of the busy season, we cut back the marketing to almost nothing for those few months. And then, <clears throat> somewhat counterintuitively, as we were ramping up going into the busy season, we spent more money during those months than any other month. Because as people were starting to think about that particular service that he offers, we're heading into the season where they would need that, we wanted them to, we wanted to be top of mind for them. So, we were able to take his spend down by 20% overall, but the effectiveness had gone up significantly. So, a huge impact, a, a way to cut those expenses, reduce them very effectively without having a negative impact on your revenue, your current customers or your pipeline. So, just a couple of tips there. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, hopefully the weather's uh, as good uh, where I or where you are as where I am. Uh, beautiful day today. Looking forward to it. Going to spend some time with family and whatnot. So get out there, have a good time today, people, and uh, hopefully this is helpful. We'll talk to you again soon. See ya.